Oh, what's up, Matt? What's up? Alright, so, we got your new Ibanez here. And it's nice and pretty. But first we gotta work with the electronics and gotta rewire the the jint to the jint? to there. Yeah. 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 So 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 we're gonna do. Hold that. I'm gonna put it in the little hole. So we're gonna come around with this here. Come around. And then make a little loop for it because it's got a little hook on there and we're gonna do it like that. But first, I gotta get that old solder off of there. Or maybe I can tin it with that and we can get it popping that way. But you know, we'll see what happens. under here make it look nice and flush there we go like a lemon flavored lollipop from, from lily hammer all right let me get let me give a tutorial to all the the noobs out there all right let's see if it focuses a little better and it's not really doing on all right i'm gonna point out this is your switch to change the pickups you hear it it's a familiar noise to some of you i'm sure this is your like tone knob down here right now and that is your volume. Oh, Matt's going to go ahead and point at that one. They're also known as potentiometers. And this is your jack-in where you put your cord. Your high impedance cord. And then we're going to put our bridge on there. And we got a whammy bar to go on there later. So uh, we'll keep you posted. We'll keep you posted, right, Matt? Keep Let's you posted. Posted I'll go ahead like and let you see let you see the face of that bad boy. I cleaned her up real nice too, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a good look to the lucky owner of this bad boy. But uh, yeah, let's get it popping. All right, so right now we're putting in the bridge. Woo! It's got a whammy bar kind of thing going on there. But uh, yeah, let's do it. What you gotta do for that is about it on these two screws. If you never did it before, that's where your bridge goes, no matter what, really. On any, most guitars, anyway. So, you got these big holes, which are for your strings, where your little brass rings go. And the little holes are for the springs. We're going to take from this post and that post and go... Well, I don't know. Uh, am I right? Yeah. Is that right? You got it. Very good, Matt. Let's see if we can't get another. Let's see if we can't make lightning strike twice with these. They are very, very hard to do this with. Got a lot of pressure behind those strings. Got them brand new. And uh, yeah, let's flip them around and let's let's see what we got. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll get my whammy bar because I can't really do it. I can't get a lot of grip on this. All right, ladies and germs, we're back, and we got here some 1046 strings, as I've said earlier, yes. And uh, I don't know if you know the uh, abbreviation for these, but you go every for E, and then A is acid, and then your D string is dealer, and then you have your G string, which is gets, and then your B string, busted, and then your other high E is eventually. So a good way to remember is every acid dealer gets busted eventually. Matt, what's the one for bass? Don't really know. I just do EADG. Every alligator drinks Gatorade. 
<laughs> all right. That's anyway, good. yeah, Matt's a bass guitarist for you guys who don't know that. All right, so we're going to string this bad boy up. And, yeah, go ahead, flipper. One thing you always want to do when you're stringing your guitar, too, stretch your mouth. Stretch out your strings. That's the way they don't have to do that stuff while they're on the fretboard. They're good to go right out the gate. Yes, he's the punisher, ladies and gents. Yes, I am. And I guess the high E is here. And that's one. And here goes the B. No, that's for Dad. Or the 13. There's a lot of different gauges of strings, too. It's not just 10, 13, 20, or 10, 13, 17, 26, 36, 46. But 10, 46s are what I use. 1046 is being the highest and lowest gauge of the strings. Dun -dun -dun. Yeah. I don't. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you play 21 Blackjack right there. <laughs> Reveling in our awesomeness. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go into this little divot there. Ride it all the way up. And then without dropping. And up here, I got it. you want the string to sit in the divot in the nut. You have these retainers. string retainers. Go. You put your strings through that. Hold the string. And now that we have the string in the loop, what you gotta do is wrap it so that it turns inward. Do you see what I'm saying? Actually, I'm doing it wrong. You gotta wrap it so it goes like so. So that it's pulling the string around so that it goes right up. Because if you do it the other way, you can run into tuning issues that, that way, so... Now that we got that one semi-tight, what I always do is run this up around that one. Well, alright, let me, let, me, let me help you out. You come up, and you're going back in. And it's kind of tight now, because it's kind of got that muscle, that metal memory that it has. So you take it, that you already got in there that first time, you come out and go under everything and come through the loop. Oops, there's the loop. And you pull her there. That's gonna give you a knot, and that's gonna make sure that you never lose your tuning once you got that there. <laughs> your fair hero. His MOS in the guitar world is armorer. And master guitarist. to be so difficult. Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausages? Yeah. You wanna Come on. turn this off? No. Just leave it going.
got them uh, strung up. Not tuned yet, but up there, look at the mess we got. I mean, if you were Squidward, you'd be about this mess, but I am not. One thing you could do, what I usually do, is take one, we'll go with the high E really quick. You wrap it around your finger twice, and then you got two loops, ah! And then you thread it through a jillion times. Do, 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 do. Alright, make it look something like that. But, Matt is more like a flush kind of guy, and he ain't got no style. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, we're gonna make it, uh, we're gonna cut it with this little doohickey. It's pretty swing. It's a little wire cutter. You take it, give yourself a little bit of room for messing around. You put the string in there. Look, I'll get it close to the camera for you. And you cut it just like that. Ooh, no! Oh my gosh, crazy. But you want to give yourself a little bit of room for messing up and tuning it up. So we cut her out about an inch away. And then you repeat. This part I'll probably fast forward to. Low storage space. Low storage space? Yeah. Did it stop the video? No, it's still recording. So, we're going to put the whammy bar on now, for you guys that don't understand how this works. Just screws right in, just like that. Now, the thing about this Ibanez that I really like, let me tell you, is that this whammy bar stays wherever you put it. It won't move. A lot of whammy bars will sag to the bottom, wherever, you know, the lower center of gravity is. But this thing, the screws, the threads are nice and tight, so you got that here, you want to play. Wow! You got your Hendrix going right there. Or you, if you're one of those guys that likes, you know, doing some of this finger action there, that's good for you too. So yeah, that's something I really liked about this whammy bar. So that's good. Just screws right in there, nice and tight, out of sight. Toit like a toyga. And then you got another one up here. For you guys who don't know. This is a right-handed guitar, so that is awesome! Nothing against you lefties out there. You can make a sound. Guys, check this out. So, uh, we only got a few seconds left in the video, to, or in the, my phone, to record here. So, I'm going to show you... The specific way you should uh, tune um, guitars with a tremolo whammy bar kind of situation going on there. Because if you tune all in order, you're going to be pulling hard here, hard here, hard here. And eventually, once you get here, you're going to be pulling so hard, you're going to lift this all the way up. And then this one's going to be way out of tune by the time you get this one in tune. So what you do is you go first, third, fifth, second, fourth, sixth. So instead of going E A D G B E, you're gonna go E D B A G E. Okay? So that's what we're gonna do. I got my tuner down here, it's a Digitech pedal board. Woo! So first we're gonna tune our E, which is the first or the sixth string, actually. If we're